queers is that a rainbow flag in your pocket or are you just happy to see me so things out loud so things out loud since when are thoughts not allowed oh my god so i was in london on the 8th and i had no idea that they have pride here I mean, they have come a long way since 1947. Back in the day, UK was more about making LGBT plus things illegal in places where it wasn't. It just warmed my heart to see how much white people have learned from India. If they can do it, anyone can. For the understandably ignorant white people, I will educate you about the Indian roots of your LGBT plus movement. So let's go back all the way to ancient India. Mentions of queerness in Hindu texts focus mostly on upper caste men. So following that tradition, Western LGBT plus rights focus mostly on white gay men. In these texts, there's a clear understanding that being queer is natural and it's not a choice. Obviously, the West at that time wasn't as civilized, and some of them still kind of struggle to get it. But you know, baby steps. And I'm so proud of how well they're doing so far. My favorite queer story is about the gods Shiva and Vishnu. So Vishnu has a female avatar, Mohini. Now there's no stereotypes about trans people being ugly. Like Mohini is so beautiful, it's magic, literally. So Shiva and Mohini, who's also Vishnu, had sex and they had a baby called Ayappa. There's also a myth about Bhagiratha, a great king who brought Ganga to earth, supposedly. Now, Bhagiratha's dad died leaving behind two queens and no heir. So the queens had sex and Bhagiratha was born. Again, no bullshit about queer parents not being able to raise great kids. There's loads of queer instances and queer stories of all kinds of queer, not just in mythology but also in ancient and medieval Indian societies. It's been a thing for thousands of years. A lot of temples had sculptures on them depicting sex of every kind. Um, a lot of these were destroyed by the British and Christian missionaries. Hashtag not all missionaries. They just could not handle that level of open-mindedness given their quite savage background. Anyway, to help me continue this journey of educating white people and being a brown savior, please donate to my GoFundMe page. I really look at it as a brown woman's burden, you know? It is a rewarding experience, but I need to see it in cash. Link is in the description. Bye Felicia! Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.